talk dirty to me. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be talking all about my hair again. I know that I made a video about my hair about like six or seven months ago and that video got a lot of views for me and I did not expect that so I kind of want to just do another one like an updated hair care and like how I grew my hair this long type of video because I didn't like back then I didn't think that like a lot of people watch my videos at all, let alone I didn't think I would get over 700,000 views on a video so I was kind of like, oh, there was like so much more information I could have given. So let's get right into it. I'm going to first recap on my previous video, the best method that I've ever used, the best thing that I've ever tried to grow my hair long and healthy and keep my hair healthy, like to maintain the shine, the like, I don't know, the healthiness of it, the way that it looks. Um, no breakage that's important for me is by using coconut oil i know i mentioned dr bronner's coconut oil because that's what i use but it really doesn't matter i got like a flood of comments like can i use this coconut oil or this one or this one it really doesn't matter what brand of coconut oil i don't think as long as it's like organic or natural or it's like if, as long as it's the real stuff if you know what i'm saying as long as it's coconut oil it should work for you i've gotten a lot of questions about can you use olive oil and vegetable oil i don't know i personally can't speak on that because i've never used that myself so i wouldn't recommend it because i don't know i've never used it and i've never really heard of that but if you do your research and it seems like that's the route you want to go to then go for it but in my opinion coconut oil is like the safest and best way to grow out your hair and oh my god my hair looks so messy already in this video one thing about my hair though i will tell you is it gets messy looking really fast and that's just my my own personal problem there's no coconut oil that'll save that but yeah basically what i did was to to grow up my hair when it was like up to here what i did was i would saturate my hair because i get a lot of questions again about how I did it so I'm gonna explain step by step exactly what I did so let's say this is a jar of coconut oil I would scoop up maybe like a handful and I would just work my way from my scalp and massage it really really well all the way down to my ends and I would do that on dry hair usually yeah most of the time I would do that on dry hair what I did notice that I frequently would have to do when I washed it out in the morning was shampoo my scalp twice and I would just shampoo my ends once because your ends are drier than your scalp your scalp naturally produces oil so you don't really need all that oil on your scalp but the reason why I put it on my scalp is just to help it grow faster I don't know like the scientific reasons for why it works but it does I did so much research when I first cut my hair pretty short and everywhere I said try coconut oil so I tried it and it was amazing and even if you're not trying to grow your hair long it is just really really good for your hair it'll make it a lot healthier if not all do you, oh my god there are literally like a thousand motorcycles driving by my house I don't know why it's so annoying I live on a busy street and there's always like motorcycle gangs like you know those like old men that like ride motorcycles all day long so annoying just waiting for that to pass the coconut oil will really help heal the ends of your hair i know i've read so many comments on my previous video like that's impossible you can't heal sweat ends um yes you can i don't really care what people say because i'm living proof of it i had a lot of sweat ends i had really damaged hair because in high school and middle school i used to straighten my hair all the time and i did bleach my hair um when i first went to college I like got ombre and it was just like a hot mess. My hair was a hot mess. It was really bad. It was getting really, really thin, really, really damaged, a lot of breakage, just nasty, felt like really dry and coarse. And coconut oil saved my hair. That is the number one thing. The second thing I recommend you to do is drink a lot of water and change your diet. I know that might sound weird or crazy, but what you eat and what you put into your body shows outwards. Obviously, like, you know, like you lose weight or tone up when you eat healthier and 
drink more water. It's kind of the same for your hair and your skin. If you eat healthier and put more nutrients into your body and drink a lot of water and really hydrate yourself, your hair will be more hydrated, your skin will be more hydrated, your body will just feel better overall and things will grow a lot faster. It does work and it did make a lot of a difference when I tried it, so I highly recommend that. The next thing that I mentioned in my previous video that I want to recap on in this video is this brush right here and this is called the wet brush. I know I forgot to state the name in my previous video of this brush and I had like the paddle version. This is just like a regular version. You can get this at Target, Sally's, I don't know where else but Amazon is where I bought my first one. You have to get the original the wet brush make sure it's that one because they make a lot of like knockoffs now but this is like the best one forget your tangle teaser like if you had that throw it in the garbage and get this that is nothing compared to this i don't know if you see the way it like brushes my hair but it is like seriously silky smooth and it doesn't tug at any of my knots or anything like that it does get them out but it doesn't feel like my hair is breaking like when i use a regular brush and it's just like you know, like breaking my hair, like trying to get that knot out or that tangle or whatever. This doesn't do that. This is like my holy grail. I will never, ever, ever, ever use another brush for the rest of my life as long as I live besides this one, unless they make something like way better, which I doubt. But this is amazing. And I seriously think if you get anything out of this video, you need to buy this brush. And no, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. Wet brush doesn't even know that I exist on this planet, but I seriously, don't care i just want to endorse it and i want everybody to know that you need this in your life i don't care if you're a boy or a girl or whatever if you're trying to grow your hair this just makes your hair look better it makes it healthier it just it's everything this is the brush you need this is the only brush you need and don't use anything else but this i'm going to show you my hair right now it is the shirt is like really long but my hair is about up to my hip bones so I don't know in comparison of that previous video, but I've gotten it cut like three times since then. And if you're wondering where I got this cute top, this is from lovestitch.com. I just recently discovered that website and their clothing and it's seriously amazing. It is so freaking cute. I love all their tops. They're like this like boho chic kind of look and I just like love it so much. So yeah, random, but lovestitch.com. I'll leave their link down below. My next tip for you is to braid your hair at night. This is super random, but if you don't want to do the coconut oil thing, or if you do want to do the coconut oil thing and braid your hair with it in it and not like really saturate your hair, but just put it on your ends, just make your ends um, a little bit healthier. If you don't want to necessarily put it in your scalp, I would just put a little bit on my ends. This is what I do sometimes still when I kind of just want to like refresh my hair a little bit, give it a little bit more life. I put a little bit of coconut oil in my hair and I braid it at night and in the morning it'll just be like looking really like glossy, shiny, like it'll have that nice like braided look to it or I'll throw it up in a bun or whatever and just leave it or I'll shower, it doesn't really matter. But braiding your hair at night for some reason is really really good for your hair. I think it's because it doesn't let, like if you lay on your hair like on a pillow, like you can like pull on your hair while you're sleeping and like break it. I just know that like leaving your hair down and all over the place, especially if it's long or if you're trying to like keep your hair healthy on like your pillow, it's not that good. I know silk pillows are really, really good for your hair. So if you wanna invest in a silk pillowcase, that'll be really good for your hair. It would really help in the process of you getting your hair healthier and longer. The first hair care product that I wanna talk to you about is Chi. And this is the Argan Oil Plus Moringa Oil line. And I love the Chi original line, but I love this one like that much more. I think this one just takes it like to another level. This makes my hair feel and look so much healthier. I just love it so much. I think it's because it has the Argan Oil in it and the Moringa. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, the Moringa Oil. And both of them are sulfate, sulfate, sulfate and paraben free, which I think is really important. If you're still using shampoos with sulfate in it, I think you need to hop on the bandwagon of not doing that because that's kind of like a thing of the past and like really, really bad for your hair. So um, my number one tip for you if you're looking for a new shampoo is to find one that is sulfate free like this one. And I love this line so much. It's lasted me a really, really long time. They're both 12 fluid ounces. And yet, um, I'll just read the back of one of them. It says it combines a unique blend of argan and moringa oil that gently cleanses and rejuvenates dry, damaged hair by restoring moisture, essential vitamins, antioxidants, and strengthening proteins. So not only does this make your hair look healthier, this actually does make your hair healthier over time with use with 
every single use you'll probably feel more and more of a difference i definitely do my hair just feels super super healthy with these products that i'm going to show you i don't have any concerns or issues with my hair and i think it's because of the regimen or whatever that i'm using and i do think it's important i know a lot of people have commented on my previous videos saying that they think oh your hair is just nice because it's genetic or blah 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 that is absolutely not true i have people in my family that have like three pieces of hair in their head and really stringy hair i have people with thick hair i don't think it's genetic because my hair is super super fine it gets damaged really really easily like one little touch of bleach and my hair is like the next shampoo and conditioner that I'm seriously loving and I use this more when like my hair needs a little pick me up or I'm feeling like it just feels a little dry especially after I use go in the pool. I do have a pool now so I get a lot of chlorine in my hair and stuff like that. I love this Pura Or Argan Oil line. I don't know if I'm saying this right. I'm like so bad at pronouncing brands and I'm really sorry about that but I think it's called Pura Or Pura Or something like that. And I use a shampoo and conditioner, and the shampoo is for um, hair loss prevention therapy. That's what it says. It has 12 advanced DHT blockers to stop premature hair loss, which I do and have in the past experienced hair loss. Especially from stress, I am somebody who suffers from anxiety, and anxiety can cause your hair to fall out. I know it's crazy, but it happens. And I used to shed a lot, and my hair has not shed as much as before since I started using the shampoo. And um, it's for thinning hair, receding hairlines, and excessive shedding. It adds body, increases volume, and thickens your hair. It's for all hair types, men, women, and color safe. No SLS, no parabens, and no harsh chemicals. This is more of like an organic line as opposed to the Chi one. I mean, I'm sure they have like a lot of nice ingredients in the Chi one, but this is more like um, plant-based. They have like coconut oil in it. A lot of stuff in here that is more on the organic side and it's certified organic so I really 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 do love these the conditioner I especially love I think they both smell so amazing they smell completely different it's not like a shampoo and conditioner line where they both smell the same like this one smells like peppermint almost and this smells like this like lavender vanilla heaven so when I use both of them in the shower it's just like a nice I don't know just like the best mixture and people always smell my hair and they're just like your hair smells so good what is it and I'm just like so definitely if you're experiencing problem with hair loss or thinning hair, anything like that, or if you just need something to really boost your hair, your volume, I would definitely check out this line. The um, conditioner says that it enhances shine, manageability, and control. It's gentle, natural, and nourishing, and made from 99% vegetable ingredients. Again, that's what I meant. This is like super, super organic and healthy for your hair, so I would definitely check these out. I think they're amazing. This was also sent to me to try out. And I don't talk about products that I don't like. None of this is sponsored. I don't have to talk about this, but I do love this and this is what I'm using. And I absolutely love all of these products and I'm going to be repurchasing them myself and using them over and over again because I love them and I definitely highly recommend them for you guys. Next, I'm going to be talking about the treatments that I use in my hair, like the oils that I put in for when I'm blow drying my hair or if I'm just leaving my hair wet that day and just want to like add a little bit of argan oil or something. And also this mask that I use in my shower, like... I keep this on at least five minutes while I'm showering, so like while I'm shaving or whatever, I'll keep this in my hair. Not every single time, but maybe once a week or once every couple weeks, whenever I feel like I really, really need it. And this is the Chi, it's the same line, the Argan line, and it's the rejuvenating mask, and it's paraben free and all that good stuff, like the other stuff. And it looks like this, I'm like literally almost out. It is amazing, first of all, the smell is like heavenly, like actual heavenly. And yeah, it just is so amazing. I don't know how else to describe this, but when I use this, my hair just feels instantly more bouncy, more healthy, more everything. It's just awesome. And every time I feel like my hair just needs that little bit something extra that day, or maybe I felt like I used too many heat products that week, I know that I can use this or I can use coconut oil and my hair will be really good to go. These next two products I use on like a every single day basis. And I switch between the two depending on how my hair feels that day or what I'm feeling like because this one's a little bit heavier and this one's more on the lighter side but they both basically do the same thing if you know what I mean this is the Numi Argan Oil and this I use for my hair but this is multi-purpose so you can use it for other things like your skin and your nails and stuff like that but I really just like to use this for my hair so when I use these products these are oil products like these more like leave-in products rather than coconut oil these are something that I trust to leave in throughout the day more than coconut oil because coconut oil is a little bit like too heavy to kind of just use as like an everyday thing um so i put this in like from here down and i'll just take my hair and go like this 
with the oil in my hands all the way down to my ends and just play with it a little bit until it's all like saturated into my hair and that's basically it that's how i put it on i do this when i get out of the shower when my hair is wet because this also acts as a heat protectant so i do that like especially if i'm going to blow dry my hair which i don't do every single day but i do do it often so i use one of those usually i'll use the new me one if i'm going to blow dry my hair if i'm going to leave my hair to dry like air dry i'll use the chi one from the same line again I'm seriously guys, seriously obsessed with this line. I definitely recommend you check it out. They sell it at Ulta, I believe, and it is amazing. This one's a little bit more lightweight, but it still does like the same thing, if you know what I mean. Like it just really helps hydrate your hair, protects your hair, keep it looking shiny and healthy throughout the day, especially your ends. Because you know your ends throughout the day, like, I don't know if this happens to you, but mine like tend to look a little like not so good as they did in the beginning of the day when I first blow dry my hair if I don't use any sort of product but when I do this totally prevents that and this is also really healthy for your hair it'll keep your hair healthy so it's just an all over product like it's amazing so I love these both and this one is the Argan Oil Plus Moringa Oil again and it says here it's a lightweight quick absorbing oil um, specially formulated to rejuvenate and moisturize dull damaged hair um, it protects against UV rays, blah, 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 all that good stuff. So I just love these both, and I use these both on an everyday basis, literally every single day, multiple times a day. The last hair care product that I am absolutely loving right now, and this is mainly just to add some volume to my hair when I'm like blow drying it, because I only use this when I blow dry it, and also to add heat protection if I'm going to blow dry it or curl it, because this heat protects up to 450 degrees, which is a lot. I don't think I use anything more than that, otherwise my hair would fry. Yeah, no. But I love this so much. This is the Living Proof Blowout. And I think that's all it's called, just Blowout. It's salon-worthy, faster and easier styling polish with body and bounce. And seriously, it's amazing. You need to go out and try this, a uh, little sample size, whatever, if they have it, I don't know. But it is seriously amazing. I've never tried a blowout spray, anything like this before. And I've tried many, many, many. And they usually make my hair feel weighed down or just something. Something not good. Some kind of gross. This makes my hair have a lot of volume and shine, and it protects my hair. So I love it so much. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this. I absolutely love it. And I highly recommend all of the products that I just tried. But what I will say to you is that just because something worked for me does not mean it'll work for you. So you have to go out and test things out for yourself and try them out for yourself because I don't know what kind of hair type you have. You might have a totally different hair type than me. Um, doesn't mean it's not going to work for you, but... You know, it just, that's the reality of life and that goes for skincare products and makeup. Just because I love a foundation on my skin doesn't mean that you will because maybe you have a totally different skin type than I do and you might hate it. So purchase things with your own knowledge and look things up and really like do your research before you go out and buy something just because I tell you I like it or just because another beauty vlogger or whatever tells you that they like something. Really look into it to see if that product is for you before you go out and spend your money because these things can be expensive especially hair care and skin care and makeup. They're expensive. They're a lot of money. One thing I do really recommend is to invest in your hair care and the products that you use for your hair i know it's easy to just go to the drugstore and pick up whatever for your hair but your hair is super sensitive it's fragile you want to keep it nice and healthy looking because damaged hair and you know it just it doesn't make you feel good about yourself and it's just not it's not the best thing in the world to have super damaged hair so i do recommend investing if you can in hair products and skincare skincare and hair care are the two things that i always tell people like invest your money in makeup comes last like drugstore makeup is great makeup washes off whatever your face is your face and your hair is your hair and that's the only face and hair that you get so you really i mean it's not the only hair that you get because it grows but if you want it to grow and you want it to grow healthy you want to invest in your hair. Another question that I get asked very, very often is how long did it take for me to grow my hair this long? My hair is about like 30 something inches long. I don't really know at this point, 34, 32, something like that. I get it cut now more frequently than I used to. Um, and I don't know. I don't really know how long it took me to grow my hair this long because it was like at a certain length and then it just grew and I kind of just maintain this length from now. So maybe like a year and a half, a year. Just know that normal hair, like, the average person, if you take good care of your hair, your hair will grow half an inch a month, which is a lot. Because that's like six inches a year, and six inches is like this much. That's a lot to grow in a year. Just remember that everybody's different. Not everyone's hair is the same. Not everyone's hair is going to grow at the same pace. 
So please be patient with yourself. I know it can be frustrating to try and grow out your hair or to try to get your hair back to a healthy state after you damaged it or whatever may have happened to your hair. But just please try and be patient and just know that it will get better and it definitely can get better if you do take the steps to make it better. Anything in life can get better and will get better if you just remain positive and stick to it and try and just give a lot of effort and things will be bound to change if you know what I mean. So yeah, that is all I have to say. Those are all my tips for right now. These are all the products that I'm currently using. I really, really, really hope this video was helpful for you. I hope I gave you a little bit more information than my last video. Um, I know that last video was super long. I don't know how long this one is going to be. I hope not as long. If it is, I'm sorry, but I did have a lot to say. I will link my previous video down below if you want to check that out. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really, really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one.